We are continuing to keep an eye on the tropics this morning, now becoming an active period in the Atlantic. It's a little out of season as well, we'll call it, because where the majority of the activity is, is out over the open Atlantic Ocean, and we typically don't see storms here until, we'll say, late August into early September. Well, here's Tropical Storm Brett. There's Tropical Depression 4, and we've got another wave yet behind it. So let's talk about Brett. We've been tracking it the past few days. It's expected to move across the Lesser Antilles over the course of the next 24 hours as a tropical storm. Winds of 70 miles an hour this morning. That's about as strong as a tropical storm can get. Once you reach 74, you're at Category 1 hurricane status. But regardless, the plan from the National Hurricane Center is for this to move across the Southern Caribbean, and potentially bringing some rain and wind to, say, the Aruba area, but then just falling apart as it gets into the middle part of the Caribbean thanks to some wind shear in the area. Tropical Depression 4, this has winds of 35 at its strongest, moving to the west at about 12 miles an hour. But the plan for 4 is to, one, become Tropical Storm Cindy, but then also track to the north of the Caribbean here, and then it's going to run into the same problem that Brett's going to run into in the form of some wind shear north of the Caribbean there Tuesday at about 2 a.m. weakening down to tropical depression status. So continuing to keep an eye on it all here in the Weather Center. What you need to know is that Brett is going to bring tropical storm conditions to the Lesser Antilles today and tonight, and that's going to weaken into the Caribbean Sea as we work our way into the weekend. And then Cindy expected to form behind Brett shortly. That is what is currently tropical depression for. Of course, we're going to be tracking it all here in the 13 WMAZ Weather Center.